And of course, we are talking about the mayoral by-election that's coming up on June 26th. And now that the candidate's registration has officially closed, we bring in City News senior reporter Mark McAllister to break down a list of the candidates. Can't break them all down. Let's just go through all 102 and then uh, you know, you'll know who to vote for. Yeah, we don't have time for the 102 exactly okay. yet, right. but we're going to break down, uh, of course, uh, some of the top contenders. But first, I want to get your opinion. 102. Yeah. And as a reporter trying to sift through that as well, and we want to bring our viewers the latest on that, it sure. is a difficult, overwhelming process for it, sure. It's impossible to go through all of the list. You yeah. basically uh, end up looking at polling, for instance, and see where, where people are showing up. You you have a tendency to, to uh, look at who has the experience, who's coming forth with uh, the ideas at this point, and generally you're able to sift through and get the top candidates at that point, and then it's our job to basically go through them to make sure people have the informed choice in the end and know who they put potentially could be voting for. And we're getting more and more of these poll results that are, that are coming in, a couple mm -hmm. of them coming in this morning as well, brand new polls that have some of those top contenders in the top 10, and yep. it's very consistent um, that we're seeing that. So uh, one of them that just came out, a liaison strategies poll, once again, uh, putting Olivia Chow at the top, and it looks as if she's kind of uh, starting to separate from the second place. All of the major polls to this point have had Olivia Chow at the top, and she was the one, keep in mind, that entered the race a little bit late, certainly not this past Friday, but a couple of weeks after uh, registration began, and then basically made a couple of platform announcements in the meantime, probably three or four at most compared to the rest of the major candidates who have come out regularly, almost daily, to say, here's what we represent on the various issues. Olivia Chow, if we want to break it down, why are these people on the screen? It's probably because of name recognition and the experience that they bring to the table in various forms. Right. Uh, we'll go through some of those people who have kind of risen to the top of this list, mm -hmm. the front runners right now that we can consider. And we'll start with Anna Bailao, because as a former councillor, former deputy mayor as well, uh, breaking down what some of the top issues are for her that she's put out on the table. It's key. And we knew coming into this that, uh, one, she's got a huge team behind her and uh, is considered to be the next in line based on John Tory. And it's difficult to say that whether she's going to be next in line based on the polls because she's not doing that well. But housing has always been her thing. While she was councillor and deputy mayor, she's brought forth a, a a fairly large housing platform as a result and trying to take it uh, beyond where the city has already done, which hasn't been a lot in terms of the affordable housing front. And the effort at this point is to try and get more done. All right. Uh, Brad Bradford being next on on that list, alphabetically speaking, as we are of looking, at, uh, looking at the list. Less talk, more action. Yes. And so that that's is, what he's putting forth uh, later on this morning as well. That's his yeah, uh, that's, slogan. Uh, every time we've spoken with Brad Bradford, that's what it's been about, is mm -hmm. to try and push things through City Hall as quickly as possible. Obviously, we want to, uh, to look at the, those top issues. But uh, he has contended all along that it just takes City Hall way too long. There's too much debate, uh, too much planning that goes into things, and so he just wants to make sure that uh, that everything's on the up and up and gets pushed through as quickly as possible. Olivia Chow, what are some of the, the top issues for her that she's put forth that makes her differ a little bit? I think everybody, including Olivia Chow, has said housing is our thing. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest problem in Toronto right now, aside from infrastructure, transit, all of the other major issues that come forth, but housing, making sure that there is enough affordable housing for people, especially for some like Olivia Chow, who tends to be the more progressive candidate. She's been an NDP NP in the past, and so she's brought that forward and said, we have to take care of the people that are probably the lowest income in the city. Okay, Mitzi Hunter, former, now former MPP, who just resigned mm. last week. Uh, she's been talking about several issues as well. What are some of the main ones for her? Main issues, also housing, but uh, she came forward as well. She's a representative from Scarborough, and she's made a point 
uh, each and every time she's spoken to us. And she's now adopted the Fix the Six slogan as well. But she wants to represent Scarborough through and through. Last week, she was one of a number of candidates that said transit is very, very important in that part of the city, always has been, especially since the RT will be closing uh, later this year. And so what do we do to represent that part of the city? Okay, we're out of time, but I want to quickly go through mm -hmm. Josh Matlow, another progressive candidate. Another progressive candidate uh, leaning towards the left. Almost every uh, announcement along the way said, we're going to bring forward the points that matter most, but we're going to make sure it's fully costed. And he's actually proposed a slight tax increase as well. All right. And finally, former police chief Mark Saunders. We know crime is his thing and he wants to make things safe in this city. And as you saw earlier, the forum poll has him starting to creep up towards the top. And obviously, uh, he'll be one to watch as well. All right, Mark, we will be watching you a lot more over the next little while, <laughs> not just best. on City News. All 102 candidates. Yeah, we'll you get gotta, to them we'll, eventually. Eventually, we'll get there. And Mark, you'll be joining us a little bit more regularly, of course, on BT. Of course. To talk about this and break this all down to make it less confusing and less overwhelming for voters. We'll do there. our best. All right. Thanks so much, Mark. Right now, it is 739 here on BT.